I'll do a lyric by lyric really quick. And like what it was about. Lately, I've seen another side of you. So many hoops you're trying to put me through. So I feel like that happens a lot where, because it's like when you meet somebody at first. Oh, you have to go to dinner? Bye, I love you. Um, Because it's like when you first meet somebody, you don't really get to see all the sides of them. Oh, the unicorn, I have to pin that. You don't see all the sides of them. You just see what they want you to see. You don't, like, you don't see their true selves all the time that first meeting. And then you kind of... Sometimes, like, for me, it was, like, the person seemed, like, so awesome and so amazing and so nice. And then, like, two months in was when it started changing. And I was like, oh, this is different. This is different. And then so many hoops you're trying to put me through. Um, For my situation, it was because I felt like in the relationship, like, I kept having to do things for the person to, like, prove my worth. And it was really annoying. Like, nothing I ever did was good enough. And it stuck. And I had to go through all these hoops. And, like, it was never good enough. It was like, well, if you do this, then maybe we could be together. And I was like, okay. Then I did it. Did it perfectly. And I was like, oh, well, yeah, you did that. But could you do this, too? And I was like, fine, I'll do that, too. And then they were like, can you do this, too? And it was really annoying. It was really annoying. <laughs> hey, hustling underscore 35. So that was why I wanted to put in the lyric about the hoops because that really happened with the hoops and people do that sometimes it's like they torture people and put people through all these hoops and it's not fair and it's not cool and i don't approve of it but whatever whatever anyways somebody who's trying to put me through oh i love this next line coming up i wish oh i don't want to say that i love it because that feels cocky but i mean i wrote it so i wish i could see your point of view because everything you say is so untrue okay so for me basically like the person totally called me and like told me how like told me all this stuff and like how terrible i was and how terrible everything was and how terrible the world was and this and this and nothing's good enough and just very very negative and just some of the stuff was straight up lies and it was like you know it's i i always try to be an empathetic person and be there for people and see other people's point of view because it's really important to see other people's point of view but i just couldn't see this person's point of view for my life i was like oh my gosh victory underscore sings that's so pretty i was like uh this just makes no sense i don't even see it most stuff you're saying is lies. And it drove me crazy. It drove me crazy. It drove me crazy for months. This happened a year ago. It still drives me a little crazy. But I'm going to try not to be too emotional about it because whatever. Let's pretend it's over with. I should be the legend of the unicorn. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Can you put your unicorn costume on and do another TikTok? And I can do a, and I can do a TikTok with this unicorn and we can be unicorns together. How cute would that be? Because unicorns are awesome. Hey, RJ, how are you? Hope you're doing amazing. Happy pretend release day. I'm really excited. And I'm going to put the music video out in like five minutes. So just stay tuned. It's going to be fun. And I jump around like a unicorn because I'm a unicorn now. Thank you, Massa underscore Dan. You're so sweet. Oh, thank you, RJ, for saying I look cute. I'm happy that you like the unicorn. Oh my gosh, even like I remember a couple days ago on live, somebody started talking about unicorns in the comments or something. Somehow the thing went to unicorns and I was like, and I knew in my head that pretend was going to be a unicorn theme song. And it was so hard for me not to tell you, like I wanted to tell you so bad. And I was like, oh my gosh, pretend's going to be a unicorn. And I was like dying. Um, hey, victory underscore things. I have so many unicorn things. Oh my gosh, I live for it. Unicorn things are just the prettiest. They're so pretty. They're so aesthetic, like unicorn aesthetic stuff. I live for it. Hey, E. Aspen. Oh, thank you. Hey, Shanti. Did I say that right? Hopefully I did. I'll make a video on Mr. Unicorn. <gasps> Yay! Please tag me. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, so, anyways, but everything you say is so untrue. 
at this point, I'm getting numb. You're harassing me daily. Because that's what happened with this person. It was like every single day was like a mission for them to make me feel bad about myself. That's how it felt like. You know, it was like nothing was ever good enough. It, it was like every day I was like reminded about how terrible I was. And at a point, it really hurt me at purse. At first, why did I say purse, not purse, first. At first, like it really hurt. But at a certain point, it happened so much that I got so numb to it. You know, I was just like, whatever, I'm numb, whatever. I only wear unicorn things with uni- with unicorn things. Very strict about it. Oh, my gosh. Love it. You have to be strict about it sometimes. What's on your head? What's on my head? I'm a unicorn. Avi, because it was all pretend. Pretend. Unicorns. Fantasy. Woohoo. So I don't know what I'm doing. I should get my balloon. Look, it's a balloon. If you can. I love a balloon. Um, but anyways, what was I saying? But yeah. Because also the thing was with pretend is I feel like with the unicorn theme, it's like everything felt so pretend that it's like, and the pretendness was good. Like the pretendness was fun. Like the parts of the relationship, it was like a unicorn, you know? It was like a glittery unicorn, like while it was pretend. And then when it was got to reality, it was like, wow, well, it was really like a dark cloud disguised as a unicorn. I hope that balloon pops in your face. That's mean. Why would you want that? That's like my biggest fear in life. Anyways, at this point, I'm getting numb. You're harassing me daily. Goodbyes at the tip of my tongue um, because it was. I was like getting over it. And I was like, yeah, this person, I'm like never talking to them ever again. And not to be shady, but oh, I didn't even do that. Were you always this shady? Because it's so weird when somebody's personality changes so much in like in in a relationship or in a short period of time it's kind of like were you always this way like did you did you like were you always this person and you were just kind of fooling me and manipulating me or did you change because then you kind of feel like you're being manipulated which is sad I hate being manipulated. It's like the worst feeling ever. I'm the queen of unicorns. You are. You really are. Okay, so anyways. Next to the song. um, Chorus. We had it all. We lived on the edge. Um, Did we go too far to more than just friends? Um, Because, yeah, did we go too far? We lived on the edge. Uh, No, sorry. Oh, we had it all. We lived on the edge. Because while things were good, they actually were, like, really good and really fun and really connected. That dress, though, oh, thank you. Sweet. I love the rainbows. Because we actually really did, like, connect. Did we go too far to more than just friends? And it was like, well, maybe, like, we just should have kept things, like, acquaintances as an acquaintance, not anything more, you know? Um, to more than just friends. What happened to our future? It feels like the end. I thought what we had was love. But it was all pretend. Why am I so dramatic? I'm sorry. I need water. Okay, because, yeah. Um, basically, I was really sad about what happened. Like, I was so sad about what happened for, like, months. Oh, Sierra Jane, that's so sweet. I love those lollipops and the um the unicorn but i was really sad about what happened because i actually did feel like we had a really good future and like there was so much promise for what could happen and it felt like it could just be a really awesome like lifelong relationship and then it started slipping away so it was really sad and it was like, I thought everything, like, I really, I thought what we had was love. I thought it was awesome, but it never was love. Never. Sad. But it's a very fun song you can dance to, even though it is sad, but oh well. Um, why fit when she was born to stand out like a unicorn? Oh, that's so sweet. That's what I love about unicorns. Unicorns are the best. They are the best. 
Um, they met her concert. Her costumes went. Oh, you're so sweet, Victory underscore sings. Thank you for being so sweet. Um, hey Chai underscore XL, you're amazing. Oh, that is so cute. The cupcakes and the lollipops. I I didn't even know that the cupcake emoji was a thing. I really didn't know that. Um, do you have a boyfriend? I don't. Um, I'm like talking about what. Never mind. She's just sending a positive message and making it sweet and kind and rainbow. Oh, thank you, Victory Sings. I love rainbows because the thing with rainbows is they resemble hope, which is really fun. We all need hope. Okay, second verse. It seems my energy has gone to waste. It feels like it was all a big mistake. And I really liked that one because you put a lot of energy into a relationship. I mean, you spend a lot of time with that person. You do a lot of things with that person. And when it all just turns out to be, for lack of better word, pretend and just all goes down the drain and ends, it's so annoying. You're like, I wasted so many Saturdays with you that I didn't want to. Or so much time, so many phone calls, just wasted time. Oh my gosh! Victory underscore sings. How did you do that? Oh my gosh, the way that you did those rainbow hearts. The way that you did that is amazing. I couldn't do that if I tried. You did a beautiful job. They look so pretty. I love it. But yeah, and it feels like it was all a big mistake because it did feel like a big mistake because it was a mistake. It was a big mistake. That shouldn't have happened, but oh well. Hey, Caroline, I really like your songs. Thank you, and I listen to them while I do sport. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening to them. I really, really appreciate it. Um, like, do don't lose hope. Just you would actually know just by yourself when you find it. Yeah, it's true. You don't want to lose hope. Love is always, always unconditional. Yeah, for sure. However, it wasn't in this case because it wasn't love. It was all pretend. It wasn't love. But anyways, I'm not bitter at all. Okay, next verse, bridge verse. What is it? Oh, yes. You got too good at being two-faced because this person was so two-faced. They were. They had two different personalities. They had their public personality where, like, everybody thought that they were such a nice person and, like, so cool and so awesome. Then they had their other personality, which was just a jerk. Like a jerk. So you got too good at being two-faced. And I love how it was, like, too good at being two-faced. I don't know. I nerd out about that stuff sometimes, but oh well. Um, Want to erase you, but it's just too late. Because it's so annoying. You can't... You can't erase memories. Like, you can't erase bad memories. You can't just be like, that didn't happen, and I got it all back, and I'm done, you know? You, it's too late. And But that's why you just have to move on, and you can't live in the past, because you can't change the past, no matter how hard you try, or no matter how hard you want to. Like, if you really want to, you still can't do it. But you just got to be like... So those are the pretend lyrics, which is really fun. This is actually, like, it's a, it's kind of a weird song to, like, do because it's, like, I feel so happy about the song. Like, I'm so happy that the song's coming out. And, like, I love the unicorn theme. I love the sparkles and the glitter. I mean, you know me, and I love that.